Have you been vaccinated? Here are some tips from Alberta Health to help make the experience a bit easier. Talk to your healthcare provider beforehand if you have any questions or concerns. Make a plan to limit discomfort during your appointment. Wear a loose fitting or short sleeved top. Sit upright and relax your arm. Know what common side effects you may experience and how to manage them at home. It's common and normal to have a temporary side effects, which can last a few hours to a few days. If needed, you can ask your healthcare provider what they recommend to manage symptoms. Yes, and there's even more that you can do. Vaccines approved for use in Canada are proven safe, effective, and of high quality. Learn more about Alberta's vaccination rollout at alberta.ca slash vaccine. We're having increasing resistance on taking the COVID-19 vaccine in our multicultural communities. We invited a mother, a wife, a biologist, and a community leader, Esther Kamunya, to share why that is happening and what people need to know. So uh, my name is Esther Kamunya, and uh, professionally, I am a financial advisor. I work with people uh, with financial planning, risk management, investments, TFSAs, RRSPs, retirement planning, and things of that sort. But before I became a financial advisor, I was a scientist. So I first was a biology and chemistry teacher. And then I advanced in my education and went into research, forestry, agriculture, did some research in oil and gas. And eventually I changed my career and transitioned into the financial services. So yeah, I have done quite a bit. Yes, you're very well-rounded and you're very experienced. Now, speaking of research, now when it comes to research, I think immediately about the COVID-19 vaccine. And a lot of people have been a little bit, especially in our community, they're shying away from getting the vaccine. Can you unpack that and let us know what your thoughts are on that? I guess the biggest question you would ask is why? Why the, why the hesitance? Why are people hesitant um, on getting the vaccine? And there are, many, there are many reasons, but the biggest one I can think of, I think is the mis misinformation out there. I think there is a lot of misinformation about the vaccine and less of the good inf information. I look at it and I feel like the people who have either misleading information seem to be louder than the ones that have good information. And so people have problems teasing out what is good and what is not good, what is credible and what's not credible. And because of that, it causes a lot of confusion and a lot of fear. And I can, I can really relate. Like there has been a lot of things that have, have been circulating. And if you really don't know how to dig the information and understand the data and the science behind the vaccine, it's very easy for people to be confused. It's very easy for people to be scared. It's very easy for people to be very fearful. So for example, if you hear about something like the AstraZeneca vaccine and it's causing clots and it's doing all this, I can understand why people would be fearful. So I think that's the number one reason why. And just not being able to understand the data and how to make the decision. So um, we know that the vaccines have existed for a long time now and people usually take them even when a lot of um, immigrants are coming here, they have to take some vaccines, you know, when they're here. So why is it with the COVID vaccine now we're only seeing people kind of being frightened by it? I really think it's the misinformation because you you hit the nail on, on the head. When we were growing up back in Africa, we were all vaccinated. I usually tell people the reason why most of us made beyond the fifth birthday is because we were vaccinated. We were vaccinated against polio, you know, against measles, 
against DPT, you know, diphtheria and all whooping cough. And these are diseases that you don't see anymore around because of vaccines. I do remember when I was coming uh, to Canada, I was uh, supposed to get uh, some vaccines. I think some influenza vaccines, sometimes they want you to have um, the, you know, different vaccines when you're traveling. But now the resistance, why the resistance? I feel it's just the misinformation. I feel it's the conspiracies out there. And unfortunately, those conspiracies are carried sometimes by very respectable people in society, doctors, preachers. And if you think about Africans, we have this thing about respecting our leaders and just following blindly sometimes what our leaders say. And unfortunately, we have had people that are in leadership positions or in very respectable positions that are misleading people. So I feel like that's the reason why, because everybody who is hesitant now to take the vaccine, they have been vaccinated with other vaccines. And you cannot even understand why this COVID vaccine is create, creating a lot of buzz. Have you been vaccinated yourself? I booked my vaccine mm -hmm. uh, and, and the, the lineup is huge. Like I was mm -hmm. trying to look for vaccines here in Airdrie. There's no room for until like after four weeks or six weeks. So I have booked my vaccine now and I'm going to be vaccinated on May the 30th. So it's coming up soon at the Tellers Convention Center in, 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 um, in, in, in downtown. So I think it's important for people to keep trying and keep trying to book mm -hmm. the vaccine and get it wherever you can, whichever vaccine you can. I tell people that it's the, life is about risks and benefits, you know? So if sometimes, if you don't take the risk of the vaccine, the risk of getting the COVID virus is higher. And the risk of developing sickness is higher. And nobody knows how the sickness can affect them. But the other problematic thing is that the more the virus goes around, the more we give it room to evolve and become something more mysterious and something that we cannot understand. And the reason why, if you think about the, the COVID vaccines and all the hesitance, remember there was also hesitance about the disease itself. People did not believe there was the disease. People did not believe that it was as dangerous as it, we now know. And because of all that hesitant and people refusing to do the, uh, the, the social distancing, the masks and all that, the disease was allowed to spread in society so much. And that's why we have all the, the, the variants. That's why it's so hard to control. And the vaccines, all the data shows they are working. The places where the vaccines have been implemented, cases are going down. So the data really shows that the vaccines are working. So it's just a matter of give, giving people the right information and taking the vaccines and seeing that we are still okay. I take the vaccine, I'll still be okay. My friends have taken the vaccines, nothing bad has happened to them. The few cases are isolated cases. And so it's a risk and reward kind of a thing.